What up all my fellow crafty peeps? Hi, my name is Judy, and if you haven't been to my channel before, I do sewing DIYs and sewing tutorials, and I sew pretty much whatever I feel like making that week. So for this week's video, it's going to be another follow along that goes along with last week, where last week I made this super cute little sundress that the straps tie in knots for one of my friend's daughter. And then so this week I made cute little matching baby bloomers or baby baby bummies, whatever you want to call it, to go with them. These are super cute. So if you want to see how I made these, stick around and let's get started. First you need your pieces. All my pieces will make a pair of three, size three to six months baby bloomers. You need your front piece and your back piece, your two waistband pieces, four of your leg band pieces, and also a piece of three quarter inch elastic. My piece is 15 inches long, but that will vary for the size of the bloomers you make. I started by pinning the sides and the crotch seam of the two main body pieces right sides together with Jimmy, who stayed with me for moral support. I basted the side and crotch seams at a quarter inch seam allowance. All of the allowances in this pattern are one quarter inch. And then went back over those seams with my serger. If you don't have a serger, the pattern recommended doing zigzag stitches on your machine instead. You don't have to baste it like I'm doing. I just did that first to make sure that I didn't mess anything up and then cut off fabric when I serged it. then pin the waistband pieces right sides together and the leg band pieces right sides together to make one waistband and two leg bands. I then just serged the edges of these together because I wasn't too worried about messing these up unlike the main body piece of the bloomers. After serging these I folded over the waistband and leg band pieces in half. I then pinned the leg band pieces to the leg holes on the main body piece, lining up the raw edges. I kind of swished the leg holes inside of the leg band to make them lie flat together. To do that, it should look a little something like this. And once again, I basted the leg holes on before I serged them, which was a good thing because I ended up messing up part of it because I wasn't lined up all the way when I pinned it. So I was able to go back, pick out the stitches, fix it before I moved on to serging it. And now the leg pieces are done. Yay! Now to tackle the waistband. You pin it to the waist of the main body piece, raw edges together again, pretty much the same way as you did with the leg band pieces. Once again, once I had this pinned on, I basted the waistband on, but make sure to leave about a one to two inch section unsewn at one of the side seams of the waistband. You need this unsewn so that way you can go back in and add the elastic later. I then pinned my elastic to that open side seam and I sewed it on with a zigzag stitch. I went over it a couple times to make sure that it was attached on there pretty dang good. Now you're going to attach a safety pin to the other end of the elastic and feed it through the waistband. Once you get it back out, sew it to the other end of the elastic on the other side of that side seam that you left open and then again with a zigzag stitch. After attaching the elastic, I went back over my basting stitch and I serged the waistband to the main body of the bloomers. And here's the finished product. Also, look how stinking cute my friend's baby looks in the matching dress and the bloomers that I just made. And I even made a matching headband to go with it, though it's kind of hard to see with the little emoji covering up her face for privacy. So hopefully you enjoyed watching me make these cute little baby bottoms to go with that dress that I made. If you're interested in making these yourself, I did link the pattern that I got off of Etsy in the description box, and it's awesome. It's from 
newborn, I think two, three years, just like with the dress. So it's two different settlers that I got it from. So if you're interested in that, that's where you can find this, super cute. So make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel and that way you can see me make more projects and we'll see what we're gonna make next week. Bye.